Good morning, guys. Welcome to the vlog. The title is correct. I just bought you world for USMLE step three. Am I super tired of these exams? Yes. But every upperclassman, every program director, student advisor, everyone has told me to not sleep on step three and take it as soon as possible. But of course, when you feel comfortable. I have been unemployed and out of school for quite some time. I'm getting pretty bored here. I figure why not take step three? I have the time and I conveniently got a discount code. I'll show you guys the prices right here. So this is kind of like the homepage for the shopping part. You could do college prep, USMLE, boards, nursing, and accounting. That's all what UWorld offers. So let's hit step three right here. So pricing, you could do 90 day, 180 day, 360 day. Starts about 400, goes about 550, and of course the self-assessments. So you can buy these individually, or if you buy one of these packages, it comes with it, Form 1 and Form 2. The Biostats Review, you can also buy that separately. If you do the 90 day, you see it does not come with a Biostats Review. <sighs> A classmate of mine uh, told me about a discount code. I got $60 off the 180 day subscription. So that was fantastic. It made it cheaper than the 90 day subscription. So that worked out well. I don't think I'll need 180 days to take the exam, but the cheaper the better is what I always say. I can tell you it looks like every other UWorld I've ever opened for step one and step two. Um, as I'm starting it today, October 4th, there are 1,583 questions, but we know you world updates their questions all the time. I'm sure when I'm done with you, when I'm done with this, the total amount of questions will be much higher. The median score, 45% rank, is 62% right now. I've done nothing. I have a big fat red 100% uh, on here saying that I've done none of these questions. When you go to create a test, all the systems look the same as step two CK, but there are different subjects. There's advanced clinical medicine and there's foundations of independent practice. I've been told by upperclassmen to start with the foundations, that makes sense, then to move to advanced. So because I don't know any better, I'm going to follow the advice of the upperclassmen. Uh, I plan on doing one block today. Um, I think I just wanna do it timed, get a good feel for it, timed non-tutor, all subjects, or I'm sorry, foundations, subjects, and then all systems. Let's see. There's only 547 questions in foundations. 40 question max, pretty much the same. I'll let you guys know how it goes. And I ran out of time. Biggest difference I noticed between Step 2 CKU World and Step 3 U World is the vignettes are so long like long long and i'm the kind of person like i have a very hard time i know there's different strategies like read the last line or the last two lines to understand the question and then go back to the vignette i know people skim through the vignettes and stuff like that i read the vignette all the way through every word it's not like i'm like i read quickly through the entire vignette um i've re recognized that the other strategies don't work for me i miss details when i do things like that so for me, it's easier just to start at the beginning and read to the end, and I read quickly enough that I can usually get through it with a good amount of time left to review. I couldn't get through this. I have three unanswered questions. I wasn't even able to go back and review. Another difference, now I see why that Biostats review was included into the um, subscription. Holy crap, there's a lot of Biostats, like every other question. The majority of my exam, I don't know, like it's all randomized and stuff like that, but the majority of my exam was biostats, like case studies and confidence interval and hazard ratio, odds ratio, relative risk, specificity, sensitivity. I had a lot of biostats questions. Also ad, um, drug ads. Um, I saw maybe a couple in my step two CKU world question bank where basically the question gives you a drug ad like a pharmaceutical ad and ask you a question that you need to read the ad to be able to answer and I wasn't able to get through those I skipped them automatically as soon as I saw it was a drug ad I know from step 2 CK those are really long questions that 
I might not have the time to deal with right now. Another difference I noticed is the two-step questions. Okay, I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight two-step questions, which is kind of a lot. I don't remember seeing that much in step 2 CK. What was my score? Okay, let me show you. Okay, this is my first ever block on my step, thre step 3 question bank. I got a 60, the average is 58. I'm not feeling any sort of good about that. This is the welcome screen. I've only done 3% of the questions, a 40 question block. And um, that was it. It says omitted. I didn't get to do three questions in the last block. Was it three or four? And this is where I stand um, after doing one block. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is sad. <laughs> okay guys, that was my first impression of UWorld for step three. Kicked my butt. <laughs> Definitely gonna do the biostats review. That's just how I feel. That doesn't mean that you guys have to do it. If you have a stronger hold on biostats, then good on you. I had enough to take and pass step two, CK, but um, it was very intimidating for me for step three, so I'm gonna review that. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like the video if you liked it.